this is one of the taunts that has been thrown at Christianity, that it's a decent middle-class uh, way of, you know, opium of the masses. It gets everybody to clean up and shower and go to church and live an orderly life. And it's starting to dawn on people that being surrounded by people who worship disorderly gods or gods of raw power is going to be no picnic at all. Welcome to another reaction video. Uh, today I'm going to be reacting to a clip uh, from Richard Dawkins, and perhaps you've seen this clip making the rounds. It's quite striking, I must say. So let's, uh, let's consider what Dawkins has to say. Well, I must say, I was slightly horrified to hear that Ramadan is being promoted instead. I do think that we, we are culturally a Christian country. I'm... That is true. All right. The, I, let's, uh, let's have a little fun with this. I'm agreeing with Richard Dawkins. I'm agreeing with Richard Dawkins thus far. I call myself a cultural Christian. I'm, I'm not a believer. But there's a distinction between being a believing Christian and being a cultural Christian. And so, you know, I, I love hymns and Christmas carols. And um, I, I sort of feel at home in the Christian ethos. I feel... I really love apples, particularly the cosmic crisp ones. I cannot... I, I don't abide with orchards at all. Orchards are a real problem. Orchards are problematic. Apples, however, are great. That we are a Christian country in that sense. Uh, it's true that statistically the number of people who actually believe in Christianity is going down. The orchard is diminishing. But three cheers for apples. Uh, and I, I'm happy with that. But I would not be happy if... In fact, chainsaw the orchard... <laughs> Um, for example, we lost all our cathedrals and our beautiful parish churches. Um, so I and the produce section in Safeway, we want to continue to go there and continue to enjoy our apples. I count myself a cultural Christian. I think it would matter if we certainly if we substituted any alternative religion, that would be tr truly dreadful. But we yes, it would be truly dreadful. What's happening here is secular non-believers. Atheists are finally coming to grips with the fact that what we have been warning about for decades is coming to pass. And they don't like the fact that it's coming to pass. But I'm really grateful that Dawkins is acknowledging that he at least likes the fruit of the tree. Doesn't believe in the tree, but he likes the fruit. Well, so do we. Which brings um, me to, to my supplementary point, which is that, as we know, church attendance is plummeting but the building, the erection of mosques across Europe, I think 6,000 are under construction and there are many more, I mean, are being planned. So do you think, do you regard that as a problem? Do you think that matters? Yes, I do, really. I mean, I, 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 I don't, I, I choose my words carefully. I mean, I, if I had to choose between Christianity and Islam, I choose Christianity every single time. Amen. Okay. Amen. And I would give it maybe 2,000 more mosques being built, and he presents himself for baptism. <laughs> I mean, it seems to me to be a, a fundamentally decent religion um, in a way that I think Islam is not. So this is one of the taunts that has been thrown at Christianity, that it's a decent middle-class uh, way of, you know, opium of the masses. It gets everybody to clean up and shower and go to church and live an orderly life. And it's starting to dawn on people that being surrounded by people who worship disorderly gods or gods of raw power is going to be no picnic at all. I think you're going to have to explain why you say that, Professor Dawkins. Why is Islam profound, well, the, the way, the fundamentally way the not decent like Christianity? Yes, I mean, the, 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 the way women are treated. I mean, Christianity is not great about that. It's had its problems with female vicars and female bishops and things. Yes, we do. <laughs> In fact, uh, never mind. But, but there's an active hostility to women, which is promoted, I think, by the holy books of Islam. That's true. Okay, yeah, that's true. I'm not talking about individual Muslims, who, of course, are quite, quite different. But the, but the... Yeah, the individual Muslims who are quite different are the Muslims who have been living in Christian cultures long enough to acclimatize a bit and pick up the attitude toward women and human rights that 
is basically the legacy of the Christian faith, which even Richard Dawkins is now noticing. But the doctrines of Islam, the Hadith and the, and the Quran, it's fundamentally um, hostile to women, hostile to gays, um, and uh, I find that I like to live in a culturally Christian country, although I do not believe a single word of the Christian faith. So, this is a fine kettle of fish. <laughs> How are we to process this? Well, I, I think it is simply another indication of the clarifying effect that the deterioration of our once robust Christian culture is having on uh, the free riders in that culturally Christian country, so or that culturally Christian civilization, uh, they were able to um, take advantage of all the uh, take advantage of the Christian consensus, assuming that this Christian consensus was actually a humane or humanitarian consensus. But it turns out it's not that way at all. It turns out the the fruit of the Christian gospel matters, and it matters even to someone as hard-bitten an unbeliever as Richard Dawkins.